Do you want to learn how to play the cross shots from your late backhand? Watch this video. This is Basic Fitter. We are a badminton brand founded by myself, Lemon Quack, and Morten Frost, the former All England champion. What we want to do is to create high quality products with a very minimalistic approach. So when you see our products, I'm sure you'll feel like this minimalistic Scandinavian vibe. That's what we believe is missing in badminton. First up, the backhand clear. We have it in two versions. One where you meet it a bit higher and the second one where you meet it a bit later. These two shots are pretty difficult, I would say, and, and for probably a bit more advanced or, or experienced players because you really need to make sure that you have the right length. If not, and I choose to play the cross backhand and I don't have the right length or the right height, I'll get punished by an opponent super super fast so again it's a shot where it's good to have as a variation but probably play the straight backhand clear if you have to play a backhand clear is nine out of ten times a better choice but this is a good shot to have to know how to play because sometimes it is definitely useful So let me take you through the technique, both on the one where we meet it higher and the one where we meet it a bit lower. So let's start talking about the cross backhand clear, where I'm meeting it super high. The technique here is having a, my, my backhand grip. If you're in doubt of the grip, I've linked the description on the backhand grip, so you can have a look at how that is. So my backhand grip, and then I prepare here with my shoulders, having it a, probably a bit close to my body. And then I start with the elbow up, elbow pointing up, racket pointing downwards. And then this is actually where I generate the power, having my elbow up and then I'm meeting the shuttle as high as I can. So step one, close to the body, step two, elbow up. And then I use my thumb to generate the power from having my racket pointing downwards and then meeting it at the top. Where I want to reach the shuttle when I want to do the, the backhand clear cross court of course is slightly in front of me if possible. I can also reach it just outside my head but I would prefer not to have it behind me because then it's really really difficult to generate the power that I need. So stay super relaxed. What I'd like to remember since we want to play it cross court where I hit the shuttle my racket is pointing slightly cross court because if I'm pointing it straight, yeah, of course, the shot will fly straight. So I'm reaching it, playing it here, and my racket, as you see, is pointing towards the backhand corner. As I mentioned, it is a tricky shot, this one, and I wouldn't recommend it all the time. Usually, I would say, if you can reach the shuttle as high as this, maybe you have the time to move around and play it in, in the round the head shot. But sometimes, maybe you're just lazy, maybe you just want to do a variation, it's okay to play the backhand cross court clear if you have the time up here. So the technique for the cross clear late backhand, I still have my backhand grip, but I would twist it slightly towards a pan grip, I would say. Still, it's my thumb generating all the power. That's still very, very important to remember. So how I would like to play the late backhand cross court clear. As I mentioned, it is a very, very tricky shot. So don't do this too often, but you can practice it because you need really a lot of strength in your forearm and, and your arm in general, your body as well. I'd say the technique is, is pretty close to the backhand clear when we meet it a bit higher. We start with our elbow close to our body. We get it up here, but we can of course get it as, as high up as when we want to meet the backhand a bit higher. So I'm here close with my elbow, getting my elbow up, and then from down here, I'm generating the power, playing it cross court. Where I want to reach the late backhand cross court clear is probably within the range of being slightly behind me and then a bit in front of my shoulder. So probably the range that I have here, that's, that's where I can hit backhand shot to generate power. If I play it all the way down here, I can't generate the power. It's basically impossible. And if I play it out here, 
then it's also very difficult to time the shot. So just showing how to play it, I prepare here, getting my elbow up, and then I generate the power. As mentioned, the, the height and the length is super important. So that's why if the shot is slow or you don't have enough power, perhaps you should choose another shot instead of this one. But still, it's a, it's a good one to practice. It's a fun one to practice. Lastly, the cross back hand where you slice it a bit, both where you meet it early and we meet it late, where you slice it cross court to the net. It's a super useful shot actually to have because it forces your opponent that they're just not standing and waiting for the straight one whether it's a clear or a, a short one that you choose to play with your backhand so the cross one short is a super good variation to have so the late backhand cross court towards the net or a cross slice perhaps i would recommend you to have the the pan grip actually on this one it's same technique i start close to my butt getting the elbow up and then I swing my racket. I'm actually super relaxed in my shoulder, in my arm. I don't need much power in this one. Basically what I need is the rotation in my arm and my body. So I'm close here, getting elbow up, and then basically I just rotate here. That's the power I need to be able to play the cross court one, the cross slice towards the net. The backhand cross slice towards the net, where I meet it high, I would have the uh, standard backhand grip on this one. As with all other backhands, start my elbow close to the body, getting the elbow up. And then I basically just swing my racket, guiding it towards the corner. So I'm starting here, one, two, getting the shot up, meeting it. As you see where I hit the shuttle, my racket is pointing towards the net. Again, I don't need much power actually. I just need the rotation in my arm to guide it cross court and slice it a little bit. In this video, you have seen how to play the, the cross backhand clear and, and the cross backhand short one, both meeting it early and meeting it late. It's variation, and as mentioned in the video, it is super difficult. Key things are being super relaxed, and then at the end, you generate the power. No matter how early or late you meet it, that is the key. Uh, stay relaxed in your entire body. As mentioned as well, it is a difficult shot, so don't use it as a standard shot. Use it from time to time, but you are more than welcome to practice it. If you liked watching this video and enjoyed it, please press the subscribe button and subscribe to Basic Feather.